Side me, Mike Lawrence. Yeah, it's good to hear a bit of Totenhosen, Alf Tagen v Diesen. Again, Thomas Saylor walking on. To the del delight of the German crowd coming through the host nation qualifier on Thursday night and then seeing off Antonio Alcinas of Spain 6 1 yesterday. Checkouts of 121 and 100, making pretty easy work of it. But uh, a different proposition today against the number 10 seed, the wily Scott from Ayrshire, Robert Thornton. And we've seen Robert reach the quarterfinals of two European Tour events so far this year in Hildesheim and in Munich. So he's enjoyed playing in Germany in 2015. Yeah, for a man who's won eight PDC titles and a major as well, of course, former UK Open champion, he, he's not Let's really done it on the Europa European first. Tour before. Game on. He never got past the quarterfinal of a, a European Tour event as, as Robert Thornton. Maybe this is the weekend where he puts that right. Got to see off one of the Germans, though, in front of what could turn Easy. a pretty feisty crowd here in Reset if Sailor gets going. Yes, that may well play a part. I remember Salzburg oh, last year, the Austrian Open, where Robert Thornton <laughs> had to play Ralby John Rodriguez, who, well, he's, he's, he's maybe of a different character to Thomas Saylor in terms of uh, liking to wind up the crowd, milk the crowd, call it what you will. 30. And uh, some of his on-stage antics um, were just starting to rile Thornton a little bit, I think it's fair to say. It was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Roby John was celebrating every time he hit even just one treble. And then Thornton didn't like that, so he started celebrating every ton that year. It was great. 60. I mean, Thornton did hold on to win that game and afterwards said that he felt that probably without some of his antics dancing around the stage, R Roby John probably should have beaten him. 26. Probably could have beaten him. Yeah, he certainly could have. It went all the way there. <laughs> well just to rub it in there, 26 score to Robert Thornton, then has to endure the taunts of 2,000 <laughs> Germans. 100. Who show their appreciation for that ton from Thomas Saylor. Been one of the top German players for a long while now, as Thornton. Ooh. 125. Look at that crack team of broadcasting experts. And us. <laughs> Yeah, doing a grand job as always. 45. Wherever you're watching, however you're watching on live, pdc.tv or at uh, one of the numerous bookmakers now streaming these European Tour events live. 140! A feast of darts coming up <laughs> for the rest of today. Nice crown. There's no Mervyn King, though. 80. We do Roll get to see the King 50. in action today. One of the big names on the way of the International Darts Open. Robert Thornton looking at tops. Favourite double. That's Game why. In the first leg, Robert Thornton. Second leg, Robert to throw first. And a break Game of on. throw right at the start of this game for the number 10 seed. Ian White or Mickey Mansell awaiting the winner of this one. Third round. Oh, I don't know who those handsome gents were. <laughs> 26. Well, 26 of Thomas Saylor. They're all the rage here in Risa this afternoon. Fifty-seven. I think that very minimum of light shining on the commentary box is, is just as well. It's, it's all you need, really. The just the suggestion of commentators. <laughs> 60. Well, Thomas Saylor, you mentioned he beat Antonio Alcinas in the first round. That's a good win, because Antonio's been playing some decent darts of late. 100. But he saw off Stefan Stoika, Rene Idems, and Mike Langendorf in the qualifier on Thursday night. So he's won a number of games to get to this stage. Never gone past round two of a European Tour event before. 100. Oh. 
100. But he is one of the established names in German darts. I mean, not only has he, you know, he's played at the World Championships, played at the European Championships three times. He does uh, the commentary on the telly for all the big events, along with our 95. sometime MC Robert on these Paul European 94. Tour events, Elmar Polka. Yes, well known name and face here in Germany, Thomas Saylor. And Robert Thornton looking to double his lead with double top and does the second so. Leg, Robert Thornton. Second leg, Thomas, third looking leg, very Thomas comfortable up on the big stage here at the Game Saxon on. Arena. So far this afternoon is Robert Thornton. Now then, Thomas Saylor. 125. Just the 125. I've met a couple 45. of times before these two. Both of those games go in Robert Thornton's way. Both 6-3, but, well, there's one in 2013 and one in 2011. They just have a game biennially. biennially. And Thornton wins. 80. And I mentioned those uh, two quarter-final appearances in the European Tour this year. Of course, Robert kicked off the year with reaching the quarter-finals at uh, Ali Pali in the World Championships and Easy didn't one. drop a set until he reached that quarter-final and was beaten by uh, Michael Van Gerwen. Forty for Sailor, and the crowd show their appreciation for that as he looks to get his first leg on the board in this one. 140. How much you record? 156. Well, he's got six darts from here at least, so if he can't take it out, just set it up. Sixty. A little bit disappointing. Uh, a good opportunity 65. to get a leg on the board. Thomas Uruguayan, 96. Appreciated by the crowd here in Risa. Well, 91, treble 17 was the shot, but we'll look to tidy 36. up. 36. Robert Uruguayan, 160. Unless Robert Thornton takes out this big one. Won't happen now. 58. And the old Thomas trademark Robert 60. Thornton critique of his own darts at the end of every throw, shake it ahead, leaves you in no doubt as to what he thinks about the arrow he's just thrown. Tops for Sailor. And he gets it. And even if you're watching with your eyes shut, I think the crowd will let you know that the German has got a leg on the board. And Thornton looking to silence them very quickly. Oh. Five. Not sure what have silenced them. <laughs> I think you just make a load of noise for a different reason. One hundred. Ninety-nine. Better. Puts him right back in this leg, Sailor. 100. Little nod from Robert Thornton, the man from Ayrshire. Gets down to a finish. 55. Robert, you're going 167. Nice adjustment there from Robert Thornton, gets him down to 67. Shorty needs a couple of trebles. Here's one. And there's another. So, this leg hasn't got away from him just yet. 
Great shot to put pressure Ooh. on the Scots when he's hit the big three. May only get a dart at the bullseye now. It is just a dart at the bull. And he's 42. just missed it. So, Sailor, those two treble twenties in the previous visit. Bought him an opportunity to break back. Treble 15's the shot. Now, yeah, up for the twenties. Ball. 44. Rubber, you require 25. Double four for a 3 1 lead. Back down to double two. Doesn't want to end up in the madhouse. 21. Well, Thomas, you require well, 41. Double trouble here. And it could be a break of throw. And Thomas Saylor wanting double 16. Yeah, a hitting double sir. 16. Full play. For two apiece. And I think it's fair to say, well, like the previous match between Brendan Dolan and Robert Marianovic, I do Thomas think we've got a game on our hands here, Dan. Certainly game looks on. that way. And with this crowd, you know, as I said at the start, if he can give them something to shout about, they could play a part. He's done that so far. He's taken his chances. He's only had three 59. darts at double, and he's hit two of them. If that continues... Well... He's got an opportunity of causing an upset 60. here. Robert Thornton, only one out of three on his checkouts. Well, two out of six, it's the same. <laughs> 140! Oh, now then. Gave it the big one there, Sailor, after that. He likes it, maybe he's... Feeling a little bit more confident. Robert seeded 10 here. The other seeds to come this afternoon. Justin Pipe up against the Jammy Dodger, James Wilson next. Dave Chisnell in action. Kim Hybrex and Ian White all here this afternoon before the evening session gets underway at 7 o'clock local time. Easy one. When Michael Van Gerwen, Peter Wright among those on the big stage. 100. Real opportunity here for Thomas Saylor to go into the lead for the first time in the match. It's been a couple of wild first darts from him. 85. Mm, good adjustment. Gets down to a finish. 60. Mm, all Thomas right Jerry on the top wire there. 36. So six darts from here for Thomas Saylor to take a 3-2 lead. Mm. Well, 16 will leave him tops. 96. Now, when Thomas Saylor's doing his commentary in Germany, one of his signature little phrases, I'm told, is when he got three clear 16. darts at a double, Thomas, he just goes, uh, Drei Frische! Three clear darts, that is. <laughs> I like it, sounds good. So here we go. Dry Frischer. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he set up the shot beautifully. Game on. And only needed one dart to hit the double top to go into the lead. Back comes Thornton. With the first nine. maximum of the match. <laughs> Three consecutive legs for Thomas Saylor to go into the lead as he looks to make his first ever last 16 appearance on the European Tour. Can he hold his nerve? 60. Can he get the job done? Robert Thornton's kicked off 180. Ooh, wasn't far off that dart. Bob Thornton, of course, hit a double start nine darter. 60. At the Grand Prix. That was in a game against James Wade, where Wade had already hit one. That's right, extraordinary game that was. Two in a single match. 60. Especially on the double start format. 60. Last time we saw a nine data on the European tour was way back in 2013 in Gibraltar. Ross Smith hit one against Adrian Lewis in a game that he still lost. 
Yes, it's been a while. We'd love to see another one. 140. So with this crowd. Well, we have 138. Hang on. <laughs> Have we suddenly accidentally flicked onto a, another channel oh. or something? 43. <laughs> Walk on girls dishing out free massages to people involved in the streaming of this tournament. <laughs> and I'm sat here with Mike Lawrence and a bag of Haribo. <laughs> 100. Time from Sailor gets him Three down to a finish, 95. but this is Thornton's leg. Or oh, it should be. Ball. 52. Thomas, you require 141. A little bit of exasperation from Robert Thornton. But he'll come back. Knowing three leaves him his favourite double top. If he comes back. If he comes back. Oh. That would have been huge. Robert, you require 43. But it's Great not effort. over yet. Thornton's got to take out this 43. Two darts at tops. Last dart in hand. 23. Problems. Doesn't Problems for it. Thornton. A shake of the Thomas head again. Thornton required 24. Double 12 for a 4 2 lead. Yeah, and does it. Sick Thomas well, well. Four consecutive legs for Thomas Sailor Seven against a man Thomas ranked inside the top ten in first. the world. Game on. The crowd roaring him on. Thornton, not a happy man. Everything is going short his way at the moment. Will oh, that continue? I thought after missing that one for one shot that that may have done him and Thornton would have stepped up and polished off the leg it wasn't to be fair play to Thomas Saylor holding his nerve there to come back and take out the double 12 well look that was a, a leg Thornton's throw he's kicked off 180 and he's had two darts at his favourite double Saylor still won it maybe this is his deck just 26 there from Thomas Saylor can Robert Thornton capitalise yes two big trebles well, there you go. 22% for Robert Thornton, 67% for Thomas Saylor. One of those, the kind of numbers you'd expect from a man ranked inside the top 10 in the world. 41. Another poor visit from Saylor. 43. Not being made to pay though. You see the averages there, 84 and 82. Nothing to be shouting about but Thomas Saylor if he makes it through to the final day of action here at the Easy International one. Darts Open well that is something that stick it on your CV 58 real opportunity for Thomas Saylor now we saw in the previous match Brendan Dolan had to survive darts from Marianovic 59. to go 5 2 down. Had Marianovic taken those chances, Brendan Dolan might have been dumped out. Oh, oh look at this. Double top. 120. Thomas Rick 154. And he wasn't far off the 141. Just the wrong side of the wire there. 94. Robert, you require 40. Dry fresh air for Robert Thornton. And he only needs the flag. two. He Robert gets a break Thornton. back, but he is still a flag staring Robert down the barrel here, first. Robert Thornton. Game on. And we saw that uh, game between Brendan Dolan and Marianovic uh, ebb and flow and go one way, then the other. 41. Before Dolan crossed the line for a 6 5 win. and now this one looks like it might go the same way, but advantage still in the hands of the German here, Thomas Saylor. 99. Yeah, Jihan Artut and Daniel Zugler, 
two of the host nation qualifiers 60. who failed to make it past the opening round. The other two, Thomas Saylor, who duking it out with Robert Thornton here, and Max Hopp, the other one. Now, Max, intriguing tie this evening against Mervyn oh, King, a repeat of their Thornton. World Championship first round clash, which produced an absolute belter of a game. We get anything like that this evening. Ooh, just the 26 again. That's the third one of the match we've had here. Yeah, if we get anything like in that King Hop game, we are in for something special. Thomas Zayla is streaking ahead in this leg on the Thornton throw and doing his best to well, offer yes. Thornton away back into this one. Didn't really work out, but Thornton himself is struggling to find a big treble. 58. Just needs one of these two players to get hold of this leg by the scruff of the neck. 99. Well, one, two, four, a manageable finish. Thornton is not going to get down to a finish himself. He might be a nowhere near one. Oh, dear 36. Me. Dear me. Thomas, you require 124. Well, well. Here Doesn't need go. to go for 14s here. Don't think he will. No. 92. 14 will have the ball. But the treble 14 leaves you double 11. Nobody particularly likes that. As it is, Sailor will come back with three clear darts at double 16. 85. This Thomas should be 5 32. 3. The way he's finished, Thomas Sailor. One of these is likely to go. 5 Enjoy 3. Thomas Sailor. Robert Thomas Thornton has got to win three legs on the spin. He is in serious trouble because Sailor's got the throw in two of them Nine as well. Leg, Thomas Incredible. To throw you can see Robert Thornton Game on. beating himself up on the stage there with how poorly he's throwing. But let's not take anything away from this performance from Thomas Sailor. 81. And you're backed by this 2,000 plus crowd here in the Saxon Arena. And he's certainly given them plenty to cheer about at the moment. 40. Just one more leg needed for a tie in tomorrow's third round against either Ian White or Michael Mansell. 100. Robert Thornton's got to dig deep. He's got to find something and fat fives are going to be 30. no help to him. Absolutely none. He can't believe it. I think some in the crowd can't believe it. It could be turning into a very bad day 92. at the office for Robert Thornton. And every treble from Thomas Saylor is getting a round of applause here from this audience. 60. And he's, what, 43 points ahead here, plus these. Saylor closing in on victory. His finishing has been... Excellent all the way through this match. He's five out of seven on his double, 71%. That 40. is world class. Unlucky there with the Robin Hood. The dark piggybacking on the flight of the first one. So, of course, didn't count as any score. 140. Well, Sailor's probably going to get six darts from here for the match. His finishing has been excellent. When it's a match dart, though, can he reproduce it? Yeah, 71% checkout percentage. 100. Oh, you have 131. Ooh, two tops. Two tops? <laughs> oh, Robert Thornton out of nowhere. Thornton. 131, treble 17, tops, to tops. First. And he's still off. alive in this one. A hold of throw and we're going all the way. Sailor was set on 88 for the match. That was a sign of class 100. from Thornton that has taken him to titles. By pulling that out of the bag, looking dead and buried, throwing 26s, 30s, 40s, and getting more and more frustrated with himself, pulls a 1-3-1 checkout out of the bag. 140. That could, that could have completely changed this game. 
Thomas Saylor sat on 88 for the match and hitting 70% of his doubles does not get a shot at it. 59. Because Robert Thornton pulled out the highest check out of the match and one of the best we've seen all weekend. And he's kicked in a little bit here. Ton, ton 40. That one's unfortunately 80. bounced out. But he's looking very, very good here to take us all the way to a deciding leg. Then we'll see how Thomas Saylor can deal with the nerves. Well, two of the three matches so far this afternoon have gone to an 11th and deciding 100. leg. And this one looks like it might be going the same way. And there's the odd one. 121. A much better leg of darts from Robert Thornton here. Thomas Saylor. Just try and put a dent in this, get to a finish, put some pressure on, that'll help. 140. Well, there is some Probably pressure on this. 60. Robert Thornton's finishing has not been brilliant today. Despite that 1-3-1, he bends the wire at tops. 20. Sailor, 117 Thomas for the match. He was an 88 for in the previous leg and did not get a shot because that superb checkout from Robert Thornton. He needs one treble to get a match dart. He's missed the big number. Well... That's what you were saying earlier, Dan. 77. Robert, you require 40. When the checkouts matter, would the nerve hold? It did, it did Robert for Thornton. Thornton. And we are all square going to 11th leg decider, folks. To throw first. Game on. But Sailor has the throw. He's got to get off to a good start here. Well, that's a perfect start. Absolutely perfect. Oh, oh deflects out. 21. <laughs> Very unlucky with that last start. Here comes Thornton. Oh, oh my oh, word, Robert oh, Thornton. Just the second 180 of the match, and he pulls it out in the deciding leg. Will it prove to be decisive? Now, this has turned into a real cracker, this game. And it's not over yet. 100. Just a ton. Robert Thornton. Kicked off 180. He's back in there again. Ooh. 100. Well, we won't see the nine darter. So Thomas Saylor knows if he can get 280 done in six darts, he's not going to do that. He is not going to do it. He needs to do it in nine, you would think. 45. Just the 45. Robert Thornton's stolen the darts. <whistles> 43. Thank you. Well, a glimmer. A glimmer of light for Thomas Saylor. Just composing himself. Knowing he's so close. That's nerves. Oh, so my that. word. We've seen three 26s in this match already. Two from Thornton. Nine. Oh, my word. Thomas Saylor, the well, nerves. That could be it. Chance to reach the last 16 of the European Tour event for the first time in his long career, the German. And he may have to wait for another day. Because Thornton's down to a two-dart out shot. Can Thomas Saylor collect himself? He's gone to the back of the stage. He's had a drink. He's just tried to dig deep. He started off this leg so strongly. 96. But it may Probably be a rather tame finish to his campaign here in Risa. Thornton looking at 78 for the match. Topsy wants. 38. One match dart goes begging. 130. Thomas Thomas Saylor, he may get a shot at the bull. He'd love a shot at double five. He might get none. It's not going to happen. Robert Thornton. 48. Robert, you're like a coiled 40. spring at the back of the stage now. Wanting tops. Game. And hitting Shot. tops. And well, what a game. Pushed Thornton. all the way by Thomas Saylor. Was the number 10 seed.
but it is Robert Thornton who progresses to take on Ian White or Mickey Mansell in round three tomorrow. Coming up next, the number nine.